So I must admit, I almost skipped this. I almost wasn't gonna do this video because uh, I have a, a nagger that's uh, living with me, calling for my attention, and I have yet to take a shower. And I was like, all right, shower and in bed. I was like, wait, I can't do it yet. <laughs> I gotta make this video. All right, so um, <clears throat> uh, I made a post earlier today about the K-Series uh, piston and rod combo, right? Uh, Tron pistons, scat rods, 880 bucks. Now, we're going to discuss, you know, piston rod combos here. Now, I have already spoken at nauseum about what Stock K-Series do, and Humble Performance has flooded the fucking market with uh, the talk of what they're doing. And every so, besides the fact that they've done it a lot, people have been doing it for a long time. It's not nothing, anything new. We already know that 500 horsepower out of a Stock K-Series is like a, is a, normal, is a normal thing. Um, <clears throat> and Humble... They have like a 600 horsepower K24 in stock that's been running for multiple, like not multiple, I think a year or so they said, Kenny said it was like a year with regular abuse, daily driven and track time. Now, of course, it's always like an iffy thing on when you push the fuck out of stock internals, how long is it going to last, right? So I do regularly have people DM me like, hey, I want to build a Turbo K series. I want it, uh, I want five, like a five or 600 horsepower, but I want it to last long. I want to be safe. And then the, the, so the question that people ask me a lot is because I talk about nip and racing pistons a lot is the uh, nip and racing pistons like, Hey, you know, we'll just do this power now. So the K series pistons are rated for like 600 volt horsepower. <clears throat> but, um, despite the fact that I believe you can do that, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Now, the reason why I wouldn't recommend it now for nip and racing is my most go-to piston because the variety it can't be beat. And the quality is, I think the best. A performance cast piston that you can find on the market so it's top of the line and the variety is enormous so like ycp is okay but ycp is very limited on what you can do when nipper racing pretty much has just about every combination you can think of and they're still broadening their inventory um so don't, so don't think I'm taken away from nip and racing when I say when I don't recommend that for turbo. The reason why I don't recommend it for turbo is because you can already do what the stock what the uh, nip and racing pistons are rated for with stock pistons. So if you want to do like a, a a turbo setup and you're using nip and racing pistons, the only time I would say go ahead and do that is if you're deliberately trying to like spike up compression on the low, like and not on the spike up low compression. I'm talking about like. I want to increase my compression, uh, but I don't want to spend a lot of money to increase the compression. So, like, if you want to bump compression up and run boost, like, say you want to run, like, 11, 11 5 compression for turbo, or you want to 11, uh, run 11, 1 compression turbo or whatnot, I think 11 is already comes with the Ks, but for the K24, I think it's 10, 5, 1 or something like that. Like, so let's say you want to bump up your compression, you want to run high compression turbo, then I would say if you're trying to do, like, 500 horsepower, high compression turbo, grab a racing piston. But if you're not then it kind of is like a pointless thing. Why? Because at 500 horsepower is when everything starts to change for what you need uh, to make anything past that. You have to start. So the clutch gets expensive. The fuel system gets expensive. You know, all that shit. So if you're going to be spending all of this extra money to to go over 500 and make it last, why, why would you use a cast piston um, to do that, to go there? At that point, it better just get forged pistons and go for 800 horsepower. Or you, you don't have to shoot for 800 horsepower, but still, if you're going to be 500 plus, then uh, use forged pistons. So if you if you want to look at the look at the K-Series, now, 500 horsepower and below, stock block. Why not? If you, wanna, if you want uh, 500 plus to like 800, 700, pistons and rods. Now, once you cross that 800 horsepower threshold, then you need to upgrade rods again, or at least I'd recommend going to the Wiseco Boost lines. They're very affordable rods, and they handle, I want to say, 1,500 horsepower, I think. If not, they for sure handle 1,000. So that's that's the uh, the rods that we're going to be putting into the moon block once I get that back from CSS. So um, this really, uh, those, uh, so I go to Nippa Racing for their go-to kit if you're going to go for NA. And yes, you can use, you can do a budget build and use the replacement pistons on stock rods. But um, the, the added benefit besides the weight factor and the strength is that the rev range, uh, you're going to have ARP rod bolts on those H-beams that you get. 
So your rev range is increased astronomically. It's like much higher than stock, right? Which I think is like 10,000 RPMs you could rev out to. <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong, somebody there, but I, I feel safe saying that. So if you're going to go for like a built in a block and you want to get really advanced cams, and you want to really make use of the compression you got, and so then yeah, the H beams isn't a bad idea because it'll, it'll withstand the stress of a super high revving engine. So it does make sense to, uh, in the K series world to use uh, the forged piston rod combo or the forged rod combo with the independent racing piston. And the price is good enough where if you, let's say if you have yourself a bare block or if you get a TSS blocks and a TSX block and you want to go in a or whatnot, um, stock TSX rods sell like 150 to 200 dollars all a day on on eBay, and then you still gotta buy rings. So if you're spending <clears throat> nearly two hundred dollars on pistons and rods, stock pistons and rods, and then spending another thirty forty dollars for the rings, you're looking at like you know half the price of what it would cost to go to a high compression uh, piston with rods. So that's why I I always push to sell those. You know, like I don't like to deal with the stock ones unless you know if you want to do a stock rebuild for a K series, I'll do that. But also it's getting harder and harder for me to, to be able to leave, leave leave that as an option because most of the case series blocks I have come, they got a lot of stressors on them. They got, you know, now I can sell a, you sell you a build, you know, a stock K24 or K20, but it may just, you know, I have blocks that I've done plenty of times where they're healthy. They're just stained up from rust wear or whatnot. So the, the, some of the cylinders look a little black in places and that throws people off. So that's why I've just pushed, you know, just do the fucking, the boring hone, uh, too many of the K-Series blocks are, are fucked up like that. So born hone and go with the uh, nip and raising pistons. But yeah, guys, um, sorry if it seems like a little bit all over the places. I wanted to specifically talk about the Tron pistons, but there, there are different things that I would say. Like, you keep the piston. The piston's good for all the power you want to get and throw at it. It's just the rod that would need to change. Um, I think I've said a bunch of times on here also that SCAT is rated for like, the, the rods are rated for like 700 horsepower. But it's not an unusual thing for people to go beyond that. I would just say that if your if your goals are if you're looking for 800, and you want to take it from 800 above, then get the boost line rods. Uh, if you're looking for you know 800 or below, then I think that the Scat H beams will be fine. So for 880 bucks, you can get this uh, the Scat rods and those Tron pistons, and you're good for you know 700 plus horsepower. So for people who uh, want to come to me to ask for that, that's why I say that's my recommended price uh, or my recommended uh, piston rod combo to go with. And uh, that's one of those things that you're going to have to go to a dealer to find the, the Tron Pistons. I mean, no, you don't have to. I'm lying. You can't go to Tron directly. But um, I think the um, it's just, I don't know. I, I haven't tried to talk to Barry directly. Me and I'm, I've got friends with Barry on Facebook, you know. But right now, uh, when the day comes where I feel like I can start stockpiling and I want to get my VHP engines on the, uh, on the piston, then uh, hopefully within the next year or so, I'll be able to meet Barry face-to-face. Um, you know, the coronavirus threw off all of my vacation travel plans, so that hasn't gonna, not gonna happen just yet. But it would, I would like to be the day I come to talk about that, I would like to actually be in front of him and, and have a discussion. But for now, uh, all the pistons, all the Tron pistons will be directly through Nippon Racing, and uh, they will come with their stamp on it. But, um, they, they, that's not a piston you can go to eBay and get yourself. You got to get it through a dealer, you got to go to Humble Performance. Cylinder support system, guys like that, yeah, you know, that, that stockpile them. Um, yeah, so that that's it. I just wanted to, you know, kind of like give an idea, like a little layout for what I recommend on K series, uh, K series setups because it, you know, I've just I've I got so used to the fact that people were just coming for NA asking for NA setups that I didn't really think too hard about the 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 turbo side of it. So I didn't really have, you know, a very clear cut like, hey, this is what I use for boost. So now that people have been DMing me recently. And asking me like, oh, I'm nipping racing for K series turbo. Like, I just don't recommend it because it just it's just the weakest point. You know, when you when the stock already handles so much, then then why use nipping racing for turbo? I just at that point you skip out on it. You either either use nipping racing and stay in a for like a 300 horsepower in a setup, or you skip over that turbo version to go to the forge piston and use that. Because at that point, then once you're using those, you can go fucking high as hell before you need to do any more upgrades again. Um, all right, guys, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, social media links are in the description down below, and as, as well as the website, because well, it seemed like that a lot of people were a little thrown off about it when I posted the, the screenshot from the turbo 
Turbo Kit sell. Like, where'd that come from? Like, I have a website, guys. <laughs> I made it a couple months ago. Uh, some of the prices on there are old, so they need to be upgraded or updated. Some of the prices need to be raised on one or two things. And hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to add some stuff. I have some ideas of some things that I want to list that I think I can get my hands on regularly. Um, anyway, the website is just like a, it's like a browsing thing. Like you can go there to kind of check out like what I have. Uh, a lot of the shit that I have that I sell regularly, like cams, cam gears, like that, they're not listed on the website. You have to talk to me directly. Guys, uh, if you want to hit me up, if you're curious about things I have, just, just ask me. Even if I don't have it in stock, this is something, you know, where South Florida is pretty plentiful. I could always, you know, scout out the the Facebook group, see what, what's out there, see if I can get it or whatnot. If it's something that I get that's kind of common, I, I'll take my set deposit for it because I already have an idea of what I can get for it. Um, if it's something that where the price fluctuates a little bit, then I might not take a deposit. I'll just have to do a little filling out process, see if I can find it first. Uh, but yeah, y'all can hit me up if you're looking for something specific. Um, and I'll see if I can find it if I don't already have it. All right, guys, thanks for watching and peace.